G'day guys, Lawrence here from Brintech. Just um, here with Evan from Unigroup. Hello. Um, we've got a little E30 here that we've put a uh, turbocharger onto, which um, did have a supercharger over the last couple of years. So we'll have a quick look over the car and explain a couple of things real quick. All right, so I'll just step back here and show you what we've got. It's a, a little two-door E30, early model one. It started out as a little four-cylinder and we did an M50 swap on it some years ago and had a little Vortec V5 blower on it making six pound and the customers asked us to swap over to a turbo setup and we'll just show you a manifold that we've designed and, and put on this thing. It's, it's a low mount setup with a GTX 30 turbo and fits in there nicely. Um, it's a standard engine, it's just got some head studs on it just to try and clamp the boost in there a little bit better a little front mount and otherwise pretty rustic and uh, reliably used car. And we'll just flip around and show you the dyno here. This is, this is the, the, the red line here is the old supercharger tune that we'd done and you can see the bottom line is the boost very mild there, making it up to just over five pound and a healthy 190 kilowatts. And the black is what we've just done today on um, just up over around 10 pound but you can see the difference, and I'll get Evan to explain this real quick, just the difference between the supercharger and the turbo benefits. It's pretty obvious there visually, but do you want to run us through that, Evan? And No problem at all. Okay, so if we were to look at just the peak power number gains, so we're going roughly from 190 to 215, it doesn't look like there's much of a gain. We'll really look at the rest of the power graph to, to get the real story there. So let's, let's compare the red and the black graphs there. So up the top, we don't have a lot of difference. Okay, but let's come back down to here, this area, about four and a half thousand. Now, each of these squares is about 20 kilowatts. So we've, we've nearly got 45 kilowatt gain there. So if we look here, 35 kilowatt gain, probably 35 again there, 30 and so on. And if we come to the lower end here, 4,000 RPM, yeah, again, about 30 kilowatts or so gain there. And uh, in here, the common trend is more boost we have, it just makes sense that more power we've got. So if we look here down below, where our run starting with the red uh, supercharged one, we're at 3,200, where we had about three, three and a half PSI. And you might wonder, well, three and a half PSI, that's quite low, it's just the nature of that supercharger. You can see here that it makes a little boost down low and as the supercharger speed comes up with engine RPM, it makes more boost there. So where the turbo is showing its advantages, at, even at 3000, it's producing about five, six PSI boost. Six PSI boost as opposed to three, well, six is always going to win. So, and this is where we see the power difference. So more boost, more power, it is what you would expect. Now, one other consideration with something like this getting a bit more technical for those guys that are interested is we've nearly doubled the boost, but we're not really seeing the proportional increase in power. It is still quite a bit of a game. And the reason for that is this is still the standard compression, naturally aspirated engine with minimal mods. So with the fuel octane of 98 octane, we are limited as to how much power we can gain uh, with additional boost. This car is going next on E85, where we would see even bigger gains. And again, even at this 5 PSI versus 10 PSI, here's our gains, and it is doing what you'd exactly expect. All right, well, thanks, Evan. And um, yeah, we'll try and bring you a little bit more action on this as we move into the next stage of tuning. But we're limited to clutch at the moment. I think we're just about ready to burn the clutch at this power, and we're just going to pull it out and try and beef it up a little bit and uh, we'll bring more to you guys soon. Cheers.